good one. Today, we're here at the Hammond Road Word Power Ministry, but we're in the power hour. But well, we're going to go with today and praise the Lord. We're going to pray, and we're going to get a word from God today. Won't you come in and join us and invite someone? Call your friends, call family to come in. Log on today and come in and see a powerful word being spoken today. Let us now begin to pray. Gracious Father, we come now, Lord, and say thank you. Father God, we thank you for this day, this time, this opportunity. Oh, Father God, we ask, oh Lord, that you would send down your presence. Oh, Father God, we come in the spirit of love today. Father God, the spirit of praise and worship. And we want to magnify your name today, oh Lord. We ask, and Father God, that you would let the Holy Spirit fall down fresh and anew upon us. Allow it to go across the land, Father God, reviving those who are down and out, oh Lord. We ask, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you will let your hand fall down upon those, oh Lord, who are dealing with right now in this pandemic. Oh, Father God, we know all things are still in your hand. And, oh, Lord, we just bless you right now. We bless you, oh, Lord, for being God all by yourself. Look down upon us now as we look to you, Father God, for all our strength, all our help, and all our resources. It is in your precious son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. to glorify the Lord and give him praise, honor, and glory for he is truly an awesome God and he's worthy of all our praise. Lord, hallelujah.
Oh God, you are so worthy of all our praise. We give you all the glory, yes. all the honor. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end.
give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. All the praise and all the glory. We worship you, Lord. Oh, yes, we worship you. The Bible said they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, we just thank God. We thank God. Many times we don't know what he's doing, but we thank him. Because he said in his word, all things. Somebody ought to say all things. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and the call according to his purpose. Yes. Yes. There's a word today from heaven. There's a word from heaven today. We thank God for the word. Somebody ought to just thank God for the word. Give God some praise for the word that we are able, regardless of what we're going through. What's happening in the world, we can still get the word, we can still praise God, we can still worship God. Yes, we can. God that we serve is everywhere. He's everywhere. Yes. From the book of Second Chronicles, I feel as I've been praying and meditating as things that have been going on in the world today, we're still in a crisis, the pandemic, and it seemed that things are rising instead of levering off. Still there are chaos and confusion in the world, in our community, among God's people. Second Chronicles and the seventh chapter today, a very familiar passage of scripture to some of us. Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter. And I will begin reading at the twelfth verse. Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter, and the twelfth verse. It reads as thus The Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer. And have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. Listen, the 13th verse says, When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, I command locusts to devour the land. I send a plague, somebody say plague. Send a play among my people. Listen. If. If. If my people. Who are called by my name. Will humble themselves. And pray. And seek my face. And turn from their wicked ways then somebody said then yeah. then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal and will heal and will heal their land I want to speak from the subject today I want to instruct you today on how to get a prayer through. How to get a prayer through. There are some things that we must do if we want God to answer our prayer. Can I get a witness? Amen. For God doesn't always answer our prayers when and how we want him to. Somebody's going through something right now. Somebody have been praying to God right now. And it seems though that God is silent to our prayers. He does not answer our prayers when we want him to. 
And, and that can be for many reasons. Many reasons. Many prayers have been answered much later than when they were prayed. Can I get a witness in here? Can I get a witness? In this chapter, God answered Solomon's prayer 13 years later. Now, now I don't want you or anybody to get discouraged. But he answers prayers according to his own time table. Not ours. He answers how he wants to and God answers when he wants to. It was not until Solomon finished the house of the Lord and, and, and his royal place which took 13 years. Yes. 13 years. Then the Lord appeared. That's the text. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, listen, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. The Lord said to Solomon, the Lord said to the king, it's good if kings would pray. It's good, it's good today if rulers would pray. It's good today if those that are put in high positions would pray to our God. The Lord appeared to Solomon. He, he came by night. I don't know why he came by night, but he came by night sometime when we lay down at night, we are resting and our minds are resting and, and we, we are we're just looking to God even with our eyes closed and wonder, Lord, when and how are we going to get through this? He came to Solomon by night and said to Solomon, Solomon, I have heard your prayer. And I want somebody to know to, today that God has heard your prayers. Oh, yes. He said, I heard your prayer and I've chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. Yes. Solomon, I want you to know, was a praying man. It's power in prayer. It's power in prayer. That's why the devil tried to keep church folk from praying. That's why, that's why things come in our way and stop us and we can't come together and pray in unity. You remember when Peter was in jail? You remember that when uh, over at the house, yeah, they had a prayer meeting. And, 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 and they were praying and, 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 and Peter was released from jail. He was released. That was prayer and unity. And I want to let you know today that it is time now for God's people. He said, my people, it's time for God's people to come together in prayer. We need prayer. We need more prayer. Solomon, as I said, was a praying man. We see in 2 Chronicles, the 6th chapter, uh, the 12th uh, verse, the 17th verse, we see that Solomon was a, a praying man. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we see there that Solomon built a platform, I mean, an elaborate platform, as, as, such as a pulpit today, and, and it said that and he, he knelt down before the whole assembly of Israel and spread out his hands toward heaven and said, Lord, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven and earth. Oh, yes. He didn't let his position stop him from praying. He knew who God was and he knew the power of God. That was a prayer of dedication. We see also in 2 Chronicles, the 6th chapter, beginning at the 42nd verse, uh, and then the 7th chapter, the first verse, it says this, 
His 42nd verse, and then 642 says, O Lord, this is, this is Solomon praying, O Lord God, do not turn away the face, your face. Do not turn away the face of your anointed. Remember the mercies of your servant David. Oh yes. Not only that, he says in 2 Chronicles, the very first verse, he said, uh, uh, when, when, it says, when Solomon had finished praying, see, he's a praying man, he said, fire came down from heaven and, and consumed the burnt offerings of the sacrifice. Oh my God. And said, the, the glory, somebody said the glory, the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Oh yes, we need to pray for the glory of the Lord to come down. Solomon prayers have been heard and, and would be answered. Oh yes, his prayers were heard and they will and they were answered. But now there were conditions. There were conditions. And this way I come to the problem in the text. It's a condition. God heard his prayers and he would answer his prayers with some conditions. And it was this. He started, he began, this problem began to say, if. You know, if we'd have done this, if we would have done that, if, 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 if. He said, if my God's people would do these three things, if. Now, that's what I want to talk about. If God's people would do these three things, if. Because he said, if my people, three things, and God will respond in three ways. I said, God, if, if God's people, if we would do three things, God will respond in three ways. Look, look, let us look at these three things that God's people must do. The first thing is that we must humble ourselves. Huh? In uh, other words, uh, God wants us to bow down before him. We must humble ourselves. You know, th there are some people think that they are bigger than God. Can I get a witness? That, that there are some people who have no respect for God or nor his word. Yes, Second Chronicles 6, 13 and 14, Solomon knelt down, it says, Solomon knelt down uh, on his knees before the assembly of Israel. We need some, we need people bowing before God and not be lifted up in pride, but, but abiding before God and calling out to God, God, there is no God in heaven or earth like you, God. God, we can't handle this, but you can. In First Peter, we find in 1 Peter, the 5th chapter, in the 6th verse, we talk about humble ourselves. Peter said, humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Yeah. Humble ourselves before God. we got to humble ourselves. God will lift us up if we humble ourselves before him. Yes. Not only that, and 1 John 1 and 9, we, we, we must confess. Yes. We must confess. We messed up. We must confess. But thank God for 1 John 1 and 9 said, if you confess your faults before him, if you confess your sins before him, he is just and faithful to forgive you for your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Thank you, Lord. I, I, I said, he, if you confess your faults before him, he's a uh, He's faithful. Isn't God faithful? He's a faithful God. Yes. He, he's faithful. He said, I will forgive you for your sins. I'm hearing him say today, him that cometh to me, I will no wise cast thee out. Oh, yes. Confess. First thing I said, we, we must what? We must humble ourselves before him. Second thing. Second thing is that we must do is... Pray and seek God's face. See, when we pray, we pray to God, we seek in his face. We, we want to hear from God. We need to thank God. We need to ask God to help us. 
You can ask God to help you in the situation that you're in. We need to ask God. Help you to live right. Help you to forgive. Help you with your forgiveness. You got an unforgiving spirit. Ask him to remove the spirit. And create in us a clean heart. And renew the right spirit in us that we can get along with one another. We need to persevere in prayer. Prayer. We need, he said, pray in it and then seek his face. Yes. When we seek God's face, God, God, what is it that you want me to do? Wouldn't it be better in this world today and the things that we're going through right now if, 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 if all our leaders would seek God and say, God, what is it that you want me to do? Cities will come together on one accord. The nation will come together on one accord. But, but the devil is about chaos. Confusion. God, what do you want me to do? Seek God's face and, and decision making when we have to make decisions. Make the right decisions. Seek God. Yes, ask God to, that we have the mind of Christ. Make the right decisions. How, how, how are we going to handle the pandemic? Seek God's face. God will give us an answer if we pray and seek his face. And the third thing, the third, third thing that we must do is turn from wicked ways. Huh? Turn from wicked ways. When I say turn from wicked ways, we got to turn from sin. Wicked ways are, is sin. So, other words, when he was telling them that they need to come back to God. Israel, they, they're turned away from God. My people, you're turned away from God. Come back to God. Repent for your sins. We must realize that God hates sins. And, and we must turn away from sin. God loves all of us, but God hates sin. And we want God to hear our prayers. And God, it seems though God hadn't heard your prayer. I got a question. Is it some unconfessed sin in your life? What's your lifestyle? Is God pleased with the way you're living? Is God pleased with who you're living with? Is God pleased with what you're doing? Now I think it's a time. It's a time that God. Is, is telling us, he's telling America, America, you need to repent because you turned away from my word. You turned away from my word. What I told you not to do, you're still doing it. And you need to repent and not call it right. I'll do what I want to do. What about what God's word says? Am I, am I my brother's keeper? Yes. What does God's word says? America needs to repent. Yes. Can't you see what's going on? Can't you see the confusion? God's name is left out. But I, I remember I used to look on the currency and I used to see in God, we trust. In God, we trust. That it was telling me that that forefathers they they trust and they depend on God. Well, would you think it different? It would make the day if if if, 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 if we would just trust God. If, if we would just trust God in everything, in every situation, that we trust God. So we see today in the text, in the text, that, that God promised the Israelites that he would restore their land when they repent for their sins. That's it's, it's in the text. The, the promise is for us today. God will restore this land. God will bring healing in this land if we all would repent for our sins. With everything that is going on now, everything is going on. You see people still going like ain't nothing happening. 
There's nothing happening. And thousands of people are dying every day. I hope they're saved. And I hope you're saved. Because things are happening every day. Yes. The promise is for us today. God's people. Verse 13, God allows, God allows us to go through some things in order for us to recognize our sin and respond to him. Turn from your sin. Sin has negative consequences. Oh yes. God denies us some time to prepare us, to prepare us for his will. And I just want to leave this with you today. If, if, if we do these things, if we do these things, God will respond in three ways. He will respond in three ways. And that is, he will hear from heaven. He will forgive our sins. And he will heal our land. The Lord is not slack. Yes, concerning his promise. As some count slackness, but long suffering toward us. The Bible said, God said, is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God so Love the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. What we ought to do is just trust God and trust God's word. Yes, because he said uh, he will heal their land. He will restore us morally and spiritually. Yes, he promised us, yes, that he will never leave us. He promised us uh, that he would never forsake us. Uh, yes, uh, we may be in our lonely hour right now. Yes, but God yes, promised that he would not leave us alone. Yes, don't get impatient because uh, Isaiah 40 and 31 says, uh, but they they that wait on the Lord uh, yes, oh, are you waiting? Uh, are you watching? Uh, they that wait on the Lord uh, shall renew their strength. Yes, uh, they shall mount up wings uh, like eagles. Uh, they shall run and not get weary. Yes, uh, oh yes. Uh, they shall walk uh, and never faint. Yes, uh, Yeah. 
to place. He had me to be made me glad. I can go to God. Yes, how to get my prayer through. Yes, if my people look. Yes, that are called by my name. Yes, you humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. Yeah, from thy wicked ways. He said, I will hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, if my people, if, if my people, if my people, if my people that are called by my name, yes, would humble themselves and pray. Pray. Turn from my wicked ways. Come together. There'll be healing. The doctors, the scientists, they're looking for healing. It's right here. Only God can stop this pandemic. I said only God can stop the pandemic. It's time for us to get closer to God. If you do not know him, and you have not accepted him as your savior, you ought to do that right now. You ought to do that right now, wherever you are. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, I have sinned and come short of your glory. Lord, I believe that Jesus died and rose for me. Lord, forgive me for my sins. And I want to live for you forever. Save me now, Lord. Save me right now. If you prayed that prayer, if you prayed that prayer, God, I'm coming to your heart, the Holy Spirit. Enter your heart that you are a child of God. And now we have to live it out. We have to live it out. Eat good food. The word of God is bread. God will strengthen you where you're weak. We praise him now. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Give God some real praise. Where we are, give God some praise. Oh, give God some praise. The sacrifice of praise right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come right now calling on your holy and your righteous name. Father God, we need a healing in this land. You said, ask in the name of Jesus. We ask him, oh God. We want to do what is right. We want to do what is pleasing to you, oh God. So Father God, we ask now, oh Lord, that you just move in a miraculous way. We, Father, Father, we will give you all the praise and the glory, Father God, for the miracles that you have performed and what you're going to do. You said you do greater things, oh God. Right now, God, we call on your holy name. We pray, Father, for healing. Healing upon those individuals, Father God, that have contracted this coronavirus, oh God. We pray right now. Touch right now, God. 
touch in the name of Jesus. And Father God, that one is on the sick bed right now. The doctor said we can't do anything else, but we know that you are the doctor in the sick room. Touch right now, God. That one that is lonely, oh God, we pray, oh God, Father God, that you wrap your arms around them right now, that they can feel your presence. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, move in that room right now. Move in that hospital bed right now, God. We pray for uh, that your protection will be upon the health care workers and first responders, law enforcement. And Father God, those out there protecting the citizens of God right now in this pandemic uh, crisis that we are in. Lord, Father God, we pray that you move across this nation. Oh, Father God, move upon your leaders, oh, Father God, that, that are in place, oh, Father God, that have authority, oh, God, that they will use authority by wisdom, oh, God, that you have given them. We pray now, God, we pray, Father God, that you protect us, shield our families, our children, those that are going back to school. Oh, Father God, protect them. Make a way, Father God. Move in a miraculous way. We pray, Father God, that the citizen will be obedient. Oh, Father God, to the local ordinances that will protect us and protect people, oh God, that we can, oh, Father God, can get things back, oh, Father God, to, 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 that, that we can go out and, and do things as we've done in the past. That's what we're praying for, God. We don't know, but God, we know that you know. Move in a miraculous way, God. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but I know you bring tomorrow. Oh, Father God, touch them. Strengthen that one, oh, Father, that have lost that loved one. Touch them right now. Strengthen them. Bless our churches everywhere as we come together. Bless us in a mighty way. We give you praise. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We give you praise and honor. Amen, 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 and thank God. Oh, thank God right now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.